Welcome to our tech tutorial. Today, we're tackling a question that many developers encounter when working with Azure SQL Database. Our viewer is looking for guidance on how to build a connection string that utilizes Azure Active Directory for authentication. Specifically, they mentioned that their current connection string isn't working as expected, particularly because it doesn't specify the authentication type as Active Directory password. Let's dive into the details and find a solution together. Welcome back to another technical video. Today, we're gonna to be going through your question, answering it, and hopefully finding that solution. Guys, remember to stay just a little bit crazy like me, and hopefully you find that resolution. Now, let's continue on to the video. To connect to an Azure SQL database using an Azure Active Directory account, we need to construct the correct connection string. Let's break it down step by step. First, ensure that you have the correct server name and database name. The server name should be in the format yourserver.database.windows.net. Next, we need to specify the authentication type. For Azure AD password authentication, we will use authentication is Active Directory password. Now, let's put it all together in the connection string. Here's how it should look. Finally, ensure that your PowerShell script uses this connection string correctly. Replace the placeholders with your actual values. Let's now look at a user-suggested answer. To connect to Azure SQL Database using Azure AD, the order of properties in your connection string is crucial. The correct format is to place the authentication property before the user ID and password. Remember, the only difference is the order of the authentication tag. This can impact the connection, so always check the sequence. Let's now look at another user-suggested answer. To connect to an Azure SQL database using Azure Active Directory, you can use this connection string format. Make sure to specify the data source, authentication method, initial catalog, user ID, and password. And that's it guys. I hope we found the solution you're looking for. And look, if we did, please hit the subscribe button. I'd really appreciate it. And until the next time you need technical help, I hope you have a good one.